in that New York Times interview, Donald Trump was also pressed on possible conflicts of interest involving his business operations around the world. Questions are also being raised about his foundation. Our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, is here with more on that. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, Robin. With the election safely behind him, Donald Trump's foundation is now admitting it was guilty of self-dealing. And he is defiantly maintaining that if he wanted to, he could run his business empire perfectly and the country perfectly all at the same time. From his penthouse apartment over the last two weeks, Trump has repeatedly used his new position to meet or talk with people who could help push his business interests overseas, some proudly posting pictures online. And now he tells the New York Times, the law is on my side. The president can't have a conflict of interest. I think that we're only at the beginning, on the cusp, of potential controversy involving conflicts of interest. During the campaign, Trump and his surrogates denounced an investigation into the Trump Charitable Foundation as political. Are you confident that the Trump Foundation has followed all charitable rules and laws? Well, I hope so. I mean, my lawyers do it. But in a new filing, the Trump Foundation now admits it was guilty of self-dealing, following reports by the Washington Post that Trump used the charity to pay for a portrait of himself, to help settle lawsuits, even to buy a signed football helmet. And the new filing also reveals that the Trump Foundation last year, just like the Clinton Foundation, accepted a huge donation, $150,000 in Trump's case, from a Ukrainian billionaire, Viktor Pinchuk, the kind of donation that led to allegations by Trump that the Clintons and their foundation were corrupt. Clinton donors got favorable treatment. There needs to be a ban on contributions to the Trump Foundation, and I think the children in particular should not be giving paid speaking fees, particularly overseas, because again, that is a common method that foreign oligarchs will use to curry favor with political figures in the United States. And that's the man who wrote so critically about the Clintons and their foundation. Now a Trump insider, Peter Schweitzer says he fears that Trump is already creating a climate in which people overseas will try to get to him through his foundation or his business or his children.